Good morning, everybody. It's Helen Moses, your voice and messaging coach. I'm here today to explain how I organize all the pills that I take every day, a lot of supplements as well as some prescriptions. And I'm here because this is something I'm really good at. I like to teach and I thought maybe some of you are interested in knowing how I organize my pills. So here we go. First of all, I have a lot of pills that I take on a daily basis. You see all of these. And then there are also a couple of drops that I take every day. And uh, it's hard to keep up with this. I have a schedule here that uh, my provider has helped me with to like block it out, uh, which, which ones I take which time of the day. And this is important to me. I'm motivated to do this because of my health, because when I take all of these supplements, I'm feeling better. And, uh, and some of my need to take medically as well. So how do I do it? You know what? I first of all realized that figuring out which of these, looking at all the bottles and figuring out which of these I need to take at which time, it's just too much to have to keep doing it. So I went to a system of organizing them and I had two, I just happen to have two of these weekly pill dispensers on hand. When I realized though that I had so many supplements I needed to move to three times a day, I did purchase an additional one. So here's what I've done. I've, I've got these. I'm going to scoot this out of the way for a second here. I've got these right here. Hi, Karen. Welcome to How I Organize Pills. I have these three, and I decided to use a system to remember, well, which one is for which part of the day uh, so I can remember it. So green starts with G. G is for go or get going. So that's what I, this is my morning pill box. And P is for PM or the nighttime, which means by default that the clear is lunchtime. Now it's Saturday and uh, I finished taking for the week, but, or I'm almost finished for the week. You can see I missed Thursday's midday supplements. Oops. Um, that happens, but this also helps me keep track of when I miss. And sometimes it turns out the midday is the one that I tend to miss the most. So I have to come up with ways to help me remember to take these pills. But that's a different thing. Right now we're just talking about organizing them. Okay, so what do I have to do every day? Well, first of all, I have, I have a couple prescriptions, but to make it more complicated, I have two doses of the same prescription that I have to take. And so I realized, and, and I have to take those an hour before I eat. So I take those just as soon as I wake up, you're organizing everything you can, yeah. It's, it's, it's good, right? So I had to go and get, we also had this one on hand, but what I decided was, look, I have to take these pills, but one of them I take Monday and Friday, and one of them I take the, the other days of the week. So I fill up this little one, this little pill box with those, and I don't have to think again, which day do I take which dose, right? So I fill up these, and this stays in my bathroom upstairs and I have a cup for more water so when I get up and I first go to the bathroom I take this right away and then I have an hour to wait until I can eat my breakfast and that's when I start my my other one so when I fill this out I, I think about and this this chart helps me think about when I need to take what and what makes sense to take when and so I have I have vitamins and supplements and in like these I take I take uh, one of these three of these a day. So I divide that up and I put one of each in each of these compartments. The other thing I have to do um, is liquids and these are drops. So I have with me, I keep in this box a, a hi Linda, I keep in this box a spoon, right? It's just a spoon because sometimes it's hard to see or measure drops. So this way I put the drops both together in the spoon and then I eat it and lick it and then I wash it and put it back. So I can, when I travel, I carry this spoon with me to make sure I can get my drops in. They don't have to be refrigerated, but they don't fit in the pill box. So I devised this system and it goes like this. I made these little, uh, little, little cards. This one is for one of the drops. And this one is for another one of the drops. And this one is for one that has to stay in the refrigerator. So um, what happens is in the morning when I take my morning pills, I move them over or I move these green notes out. And once I have taken 
the refrigerated and the pill and the drops, then I just move these over to the next day. So the next day, I will remember that I'm supposed to take these pills or these drops. The other thing that I figured out is sort of a, an engineering process. This is quite complicated. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? So one of these supplements that I take, I'm not going to try to find it, but one of these is actually a lozenge, right? It's, you're supposed to keep it under your tongue and suck on it and let it dissolve in your mouth. And I've discovered it takes a little while uh, to, to dissolve. So what I figured out was I, get, I can put it in, in here. It doesn't have to be taken an hour after I eat or... It can be taken right when I wake up. So I put it in with my morning. I take the, the pill that I'm supposed to take here right when I wake up. And then I also put the lozenge in here and I work on that in the hour while I'm waiting. And that way when I have my morning medicine, which I usually take with my breakfast, I can go right ahead and brush my teeth when I'm done. But you don't want to brush your teeth with this lozenge in your mouth. It doesn't work. The point of all of this is some of these I have to take. Oh, let me show you this one too. It's not easy to travel like just to meetings or around town or whatever. So I have a lot of these old prescription bottles. And what I what I do is when it's like Thursday and I'm going to be out for a lunch meeting, I will just take these supplements. Oh, anyway, for the sake of this demonstration, I just take these out and put them in here. And then I put this in my purse so I know that I have to eat or to take these when I eat if I remember. But again, that's a different system how to remember. This is just how to um, how to organize these pills. Karen says, recording you on post-its. Lozenges are challenging. <laughs> they are challenging, but I figured that out. Hey Donna, glad to see you this morning. I'm talking about how I organize my pills and I take a lot of them. Most of them are supplements. Uh, if you want to know what I take, you can ask me offline. I'll be happy to share. But um, they all work together to make me feel well and feel good. So that's what I do. But guess what? Here's the whole point of all of this. I'm, I'm an expert at this. I've done this. I've figured it out. And it sounds small. And I would think to myself, well, who, what, how does this matter? You know, what, what does this even matter, right? That I can organize my pills. Well, it probably matters to a lot of people. Maybe, maybe I'm giving some suggestions that other people haven't thought of that are going to make their lives easier. It's also, when I teach something that I'm good at, it's a form of communication. It's a form of sharing my expertise. And yes, expertise in organizing pills. Is there a better way, a more efficient way? Are there different types of pill boxes that would work well, well or better? I'm sure there are. And if you have a system that's great, share it with me. I'd love to know. I challenge you, think about all the things in your life, like organizing pills, that you're really good at, that you could teach other people how to do it and let us know share a video and and tag me in it and let me see how you do what you do best that's what i've got for you this morning how i organize my pills i look forward to a great saturday i wish one for you as well and uh, if this is interesting to you let's let's talk let's get on the phone and let's let's give a call i'll post in the comments a link to my calendar and uh, and we can set up a 15 minute call and and chat about what you are an expert at love to talk to you soon take care